Hello, my name is Hercules Leite. I am a professor and researcher at Federal University of Minas Gerais in Brazil. And on behalf of myself and the co-authors, uh, we are presenting you this podcast for developmental medicine in China neurology. This one is on our recently published paper entitled Physical Therapy in Children with Cerebral Palsy in Brazil, a scoping review. At the beginning of the 21st century, the World Health Organization proposed significant change expansions to the rationale and language of health and disability. This framework, the ICF framework, reminds us the importance of focusing on the activity, participation, and contextual aspects of people's lives instead of uh, beyond just offering therapies aimed at fixing impairments in body functions and structures. Uh, however, most of the available literature supporting interventions originates from research in high income countries such as the USA, Canada, Australia, and uh, evidence uh, from studies uh, from African countries and Indian, Indian countries, they have been shown that uh, interventional studies in low and middle income countries are mainly concerned with body function and structures with much less attention paid to activity and participation and also uh, contextual, contextual factors that is quite important for us. So to date, there is no, there is no information addressing the scope of the literature regarding CP in other low middle income countries, such as Brazil. As we know, Brazil is the fifth largest country in the world with over than 200,000 physiotherapists. Brazil is also considered one of the top 25 most productive countries in CP research and one of the most productive low and middle income countries in this list. So understand the nature of the Brazilian research literature may help Brazilian researchers to improve their approach and how they deliver updated information on physical therapy to pediatric community. The aim of this systematic review uh, was to identify published studies that addressed physical therapy in Brazilian children and adolescents with CP using the ICF framework lens. Our res results have showed from the 94 studies that were included, the main characteristics that I would like to highlight from table one, for example, uh, we, we can see that the number of the studies have been, have been increased in the last year, the last decades, as we can see. Uh, and these studies are mainly from Brazilian regions, uh, such as South, Southeast and South, regions that has been receive, receiving um, uh, more funding and more financial resources. Regarding the Oxford levels of evidence, as we, uh, as we can see on the top level one, we have the strongest evidence and at the bottom level four, five, the weakest. Our results show that 70% of the studies were classified as level four. Furthermore, 52% of the studies were published in Portuguese and we also observed that 67% of the studies were published in journal, journals with predatory behavior. Uh, regarding the, the most fre frequent intervention reported from these studies, on the top, we have SWE therapy followed by NDT, neurodevelopmental therapy, and TDCS, transcranial direct current stimulation. And, uh, and then we have other uh, quite common interventions here in Brazil, such as hydrotherapy, virtual reality, and so on. And then, uh, what, are, uh, what are the ingredients and outcomes investigated from these interventions that we have, uh, that were reported in our systematic review? So we decided to open the physical therapy intervention box. And then we, uh, uh, the results show that considering the interventions ingredients, at the top we have body function and structures, followed by activity and scarcely by and scarcely ingredients such as participation and environmental factors. 
uh, and considering the investigative outcomes at the top activity, followed by body functions and structures, and scarcely uh, participation in environmental factors as investigative outcomes. So, uh, concluding our conclusion, we, uh, we have Brazilian researchers. Uh, we know that Brazilian researchers must expand their focus on therapeutic to include contact flow and participation factors. Well-designed Brazilian intervention studies might facilitate evidence-based practice and reduce the gap between the research and clinical fields. And many strategies could be considered, such as partnerships between junior and senior researchers and research centers, for example. So these are our, our acknowledgements. We are grateful for the contribution and participation of all co-authors and also uh, the, the funding through PPSUS. Thank you for listening and hope you all enjoy the article.